everyone and welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine Dustine. if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new video so today i'm going to be doing my curly hair routine which i'm really excited to show you guys because i've been basically like experimenting with this routine for the last like two months and i feel like i've got it down packed now and i can share it with you guys because i know it's gonna come out bomb because i found the products that work for me and i'm so happy about that and i'm also gonna be adding in some clip-in extensions which i'm also really excited about this is gonna be my first time doing it with clip-in extensions but i want to give myself a little bit more volume a little bit more length it's gonna be giving you know like curls for the girls i've been seeing a lot of our faves rocking their natural hair or just like curly textures natural curly textures all over the gram just everywhere and i'm very very excited and happy about that um i as you guys know like i've kind of stepped into that era myself like i've really been just trying to wear my natural hair more today's video is sponsored by curls queen a shout out to curls queen for sponsoring today's video and sending me these gorgeous curly clip in extensions that i'm going to be putting in my hair i love the pink you guys know how i feel about pink i'm such a girly girl these um clip-ins are the same texture as the last set of micro links that i had in and i absolutely loved that texture so when they reached out and they wanted to send me clip-ins i was like yes because obviously clip-ins are a bit more like day to day you can take them out if you don't want to keep them in and the removal process is a lot easier than micro links so i'm really excited to see how these are going to look in my hair so if you guys are excited too, then make sure you keep watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe. I'm trying to hit 150k real soon, okay? I love you guys, and yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so you guys saw me open the box. Inside, you're going to get a little pouch. They always send you with, like, some little tools and supplies you might need. There's extra clips in here if you want to sew more um, clips onto your tracks. There's a bonnet and a cute little Curls Queen brush. And then in your little silk baggie you're gonna have your hair let me pull this out for you this is what it looks like it smells really good i'm still gonna wash it because the way that i do my curly hair routine my hair has to be wet in order for me to put the product in oh my gosh these are long oh <laughs> wait girl this is one bundle i'm gonna put the specs on the screen and it's gonna be down in the description box for you guys oh my gosh these are full wait ah! this is my first time looking at them you guys like i literally i knew what the texture was gonna be but i didn't know how long or full it was gonna be <gasps> oh this is about the e yes look at that wait why do they look like you know what i think they customized and gave me like two different textures because i told them like i have tighter curls towards the front of my head and then i have looser curls towards the back so these look a little bit looser and then these look a little bit tighter but i'm gonna wash them because i want to see how it looks washed whoa this is a lot of hair this is a lot of hair i'm so excited <laughs> wait
I'm out of the shower. I washed my hair. Um, can we get into the, the inches for a second? Y'all remember when my hair was like hella short? Like, like three years ago? I mean, <laughs> literally like, I love it. My hair's growing. I want it to be even longer. So I'm not gonna be cutting it anytime soon. Yeah, I have to do my skincare cause my face felt so dry. But anyway, okay, so I washed the clip ends. I washed both bundles. This is the first one. It's still really wet, but that's how I want it. So wash this one. And then I washed the second bundle. These, this one seems a little bit looser now that I washed it. This was the tighter one when I first took it out the pack. And then this is just what I use to wash the hair. Um, the shampoo and then i use this balancing moisturizer from afoji i like to wear my hair in the middle part so i'm gonna split my in experimenting with different products i've learned that my hair is really dry which i already knew but i need something that's super hydrating and super moisturizing but not too heavy because even though i have a lot of hair on my head my hair is actually not i wouldn't say it's fine because it's not fine but it's just definitely like a lighter i don't know what the technical term is but i can't put super heavy product on my hair like really thick butters or custards or anything like that because it'll just weigh it down i'm gonna see what it's giving my hair right now feels dry and i'm gonna work in like sections so you guys saw me use the shampoo and the conditioner from my yell in the shower and i really like this little oats and honey line this is the soothing leave-in conditioner so i'm gonna go in with um a couple of pumps of this first apply this to my hair with my fingers this is almost done so i'm gonna go on with the oats and honey soothing hair balm i really really like this stuff very moisturizing cream but it's lightweight it adds um it gives me definition on my hair which i also really love but the hold on it is not like strong at all like this is gonna define your curls but it's not going to hold like past day one because i've used just this and i really liked the way my hair looked day one but by day two it was just like there was barely any definition and it was kind of frizzy but moisturizing wise like this is really nice and i'm like using my fingers to distribute the product and kind of like clump it together and also like finger detangle but it's like my hair is like already starting to kind of clump together i'm gonna take a two clip in I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna split this section in half. And then the last product that I'm gonna use is my Pattern Beauty uh, Leave In. I love. Okay, this I'm kind of obsessed with. Like, seriously, this just does wonders for my hair gonna take some of that and kind of just work it in it smells like bananas to me like banana cream or banana pudding like it just smells like vanilla and banana and i love it i put this on my hair and i did like a wash and go when i was well that whole week that i was with amazon and i got so many compliments on my hair and that was like the main product that i used and i just think it did wonders i think that's a pretty good blend maybe and then i'm gonna i'm gonna put another one right on top here i'm gonna take a little bit of this i'm gonna take another two claw clip because this section isn't that big slot it in And it's in there, honey. She ain't going no way. Take a little bit more of this. Period. So I'm going to do that again on the next section. Leave in first. And then the soothing hair balm. So the difference between this leave-in, this one's a lot thinner and um, the consistency of it is a bit waterier. So that's why I like to put it on first because I work with my way from like lightest products to heavier. This one's definitely thicker, has a bit more slip 
adds a really nice shine smells really good and i feel like this one's more moisturizing than this one but i like to use this one just as a base it's also for sensitive um scalps and you guys know i have a very sensitive scalp like my scalp is really dry naturally and very like flaky and i feel like ever since i started using this specific line i've had less flakiness a three piece check on it <laughs> i like to make sure and then i'm gonna take my um pattern finish this side because I want like a piece to go across a five clip to go across both sides and I did a middle part I'm gonna start on this side so that's why I jumped over to this side so now I'm at the top right and I'm gonna put a clip all the way around a five clip so that I can you know make sure that this blends the way I want it to blend I'm still on the first bundle of hair. Like I haven't opened up the second one yet. I'm trying to see if I can get my desired look without having to use both. My hair is starting to dry, chill. That's why I got my water bottle, my spray bottle. My hair has to be like really wet in order to absorb the product better. Okay, so I finished this side. You guys, look at how good it blends. You, you can't tell me that this is not my hair. The texture, the curl pattern is literally like exactly like my hair. I love it so much. It looks so good. Like, I can't wait till my actual hair is this long. But for now, we're gonna do the clip-ins. So I have this last little bitty section left. I told you guys I'm doing a middle part, so I'm gonna split this in half and put two more two um, clip, claw clip thingies. I had to go into the second bundle to get more of the two clip ones because I used all of them, but I didn't use two of the four claw clips from the original bundle. So I guess you could just say that it's the same amount because I basically put in this amount, but in like just a separated a separated piece so like think think as if i cut this in half and just put it in but i didn't want to cut this obviously because then it would shed more so i just went into the second bundle and i got that but basically what i'm trying to say is that i only used one bundle <sighs> so yeah hopefully that makes sense if you wear clip-ins then you might know what i'm talking about and hopefully i explained it better i explained it decent enough for people who don't wear clip-ins but i'm gonna trim it just a little 
I want to keep the length because I like how long it is, obviously. But I'm going to trim it just a little. And I've been working on this for a while. So, well, not a while. It's probably been like an hour. So my hair is definitely dry now once I got into the top. So I have to re-wet it. I'm going to just do these last two sections. And then I'm going to let my hair air dry a little while I do my makeup. My hair takes a couple of hours to fully dry if I were to like let it fully air dry. And I kind of just like let that curl up on its own like it's going to naturally just start to curl. A two-piece clip and I'm just gonna apply product on top and split this one in half don't forget to get them edges chill you're not telling me this isn't my hair you're just not I'm really like saturating my hair. Like, you see how much friggin' product? Shout out to Shanice. She taught you, girl. The way I would apply product before, it just wasn't enough. Like, my hair is, needs a lot more product and love. I'm gonna take these um, bendless clips and I just clip back the front so that it can like dry in this way. But then also for when I do my makeup, it's like also keeping my hair on my face. But it adds volume in this area. I think I'm gonna just cut a little bit. Okay, and then the last absolute, the absolute last step. I really, really like this JBN air dry cream. One, I love the way it smells. It's silicone free. And when I tell you defines, when I tell you holds, the hold that this product has on my hair is crazy. It smells so good. It's vegan, color color safe, sulfate free, all of that. So I basically use this like a final kind of like gel that just kind of holds my hair exactly the way I want it. Like this stuff is the truth. And I apply it like this, right? Like I sandwich my hair together. And then I scrunch. It smells so good. It smells like apples, like crisp green apple, Granny Smith apple. And yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love it. It doesn't even feel like super heavy because I only use one bundle, but I'm about to do my makeup and show you guys the final after it dries a little. You guys, I finished my makeup. I put a little clip in, but I'm going to take it down so you guys can really see what's the tapins not tapins the clip-ins are giving it's still like really wet i didn't diffuse it but this is what it looks like i don't know i feel like it's kind of giving like it's really cute actually like it looks so cute are you from the back I've struggled with getting my clip-ins to, bl to blend in the past, especially like straight clip-ins. I feel like these curly ones, actually because the texture, the curl pattern is so similar to my hair. I feel like it's really, I don't know, like I feel like it looks so good. Like I might end up like cutting some layers, but for right now, I'm kind of just going to let it do what it's doing. So yeah, if you guys want to shop these clip-ins, I'll have all details down in the description box for you guys. So make sure you check it out along with any discount codes I can get for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you end up trying out my wash and go routine, let me know down below or DM me. Like, 
let me know girl let me know what products you like or what you've used or what you haven't used or what you think you want to use like let's chat it up honestly this is actually so cute okay yeah i literally have to go but i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a huge thumbs up down below don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe i love you guys so much don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see my next upload bye you guys this is three days later on the same wash and go i cut some layers into the hair and the clippings just literally blend so perfectly i'm absolutely obsessed so make sure you definitely check out curls queen everything will be linked down below bye